we have an Allen wrench, open end wrench, and 2000s feeler gauge. Here we have a two inch pellet block we're going to adjust. We have Allen wrench, open end wrench, 2000s feeler gauge. Your eccentric roller on the roller bearing pellet block is going to always be on the side where the dowel pin is inserted for the top support roller. When you look at the side of the bearing, if you look this way, you would see a set screw within that hole blocking the dowel pin from coming out. This is the side you will find the eccentric bearing on. To adjust the eccentric bearing, you need the Allen wrench and a wrench to loosen the nut. Loosen the nut to get rid of any play. You don't want it to be even snug anyway. You want to get full stroke on this. You should be able to do it with your fingers. Let it go till it stops by itself. Come back to take the play out of the nut. Just snug it a little bit and then use the 2000s feeler gauge. Pull the shaft over against the fixed roller and see if it goes in. It should not go through if it's in contact and it does not go through. We want to open this gap to 2000s. So we're going to open it up a little bit and tighten up the nut a little bit and now try it. It is still too tight. Being we haven't tightened the nut, it allows us to go and make finite adjustments with the Allen wrench. So now we're going to pull it back a little more and make sure it's tight that it doesn't go back to where it was. Pull the shaft over. It's still too tight. We go back again. Move it a little bit more. Pull the shaft over and try it again. There we are. We have friction fit between the roller and the shaft and you can actually hear it going through. It's going through, there's a gap and there's friction enough for the 2000s feeler gauge passes. Once you get that done, hold this very stable and tighten up that nut. Uh, Loctite on it when you're done will work fine. Again, we have a 2000s gap between the shaft and the roller.